Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Freight Forwarding. We have officially got rare metals coming in, which feels so good. And now our first blue circuits are crafting. So that is a great feeling. Look at them. Look at them. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Cirky is besides himself with joy. Oh, Cirky, you're amazing. Uh, so now we have LDS and blue circuits and yellow science is just around the corner. All we need is rocket fuel. Awesome. Now, oh, Sarvi, a stretching redemption and a hydration redemption, keeping me healthy. I'll do those in a minute because I actually just started streaming. Um, what is going on here? Hmm. That's a very odd, glitchy looking. Let's keep it 80, whatever. Streamer health is important. I couldn't agree more. Uh, what was I doing though? Um, oh, right, the liquid fuel. Right, right, right. Or the rocket fuel. I feel like there was something else I was doing too. Uh, by the way, I did investigate LTN stuff because I had looked a little bit like an uninformed nincompoop in another episode. Um, and I had told you guys, like, I don't really know how the depots work in some ways. So I did some investigation, figured it all out. Um, the way that they work is the name matters in that all of the depots with the same name, uh, just like regular vanilla trains, um, all the depots with the same name are interchangeable in the sense that if one of them is filled, you know, a train will go to a different one. However, if you name the depots something different, such as liquid depot, then you assign a train with liquid wagons to it, which you don't have to name it liquid depot. You could name it you know, Jack and Jill. Um, but the ones that are assigned to, you know, the Jack and Jill depots will only ever go to Jack and Jill depots. They'll never go to other depots. So the name of the depot is important in that you can create different depot sections. So I could have a block of depots here all called Depot South. And then I could have a block of depots up here called Depot Mid, you know, and so you could have depots in different areas, name them different things. Trains are dispatched, I believe, based on distance. And um, the depots do not know what kind of train is in the uh, is in it. And it also doesn't obey the minimum and maximum train length stuff. So you can't use any of these signals over here for depots. So essentially, if you have different types of trains, you need to have a different depot section for those different trains. Like if I have a section of short trains, um, you know, just like one one trains or something, then I would want a one one depot area and that would be different than my other depot area. And it doesn't have to be different depending on, you know, if I just have 10 trains, some of them are one ones. If I have five one one trains and five one four trains and I could just have 10 depots here, they could all share a name and this system would work. Some of them would just be short. And what you do is on the providers and requesters, you would set the min and max train lengths and then those work properly. So I'm actually considering a mixed train system for my Pyanodons run because Pyanodons has some extremely high throughput items and some extremely low throughput items. And 1-1 one -one trains can be a lot simpler to work with for the majority. And then I could use some 1-4 trains for higher throughput. I'm not sure if that's the way I'm going to do it yet or not. Um, we still have a ways till we're even done with this run. So I don't have to figure out Pinodons just yet. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on all of that. And now let's make some rocket fuel, which is going to require a lot of atmospheric condensers. So why don't I automate these? I did automate the research servers as well. So I've got those ready to go. Um, 
because those are the things that actually craft the yellow uh, yellow circuits or yellow tech cards, science, whatever it's called. Ooh, looks like we're using up all our copper. I lost a turret. Uh-oh. You know what? Can we do another laser damage? I can. Let's get that done. That'll that'll help the biters die a little faster. And what am I doing? Automating steel, steel, gear, and engine. Hmm. So engines are here. Engines are also over here. Steel, steel, circuit, and engine. So this could be a good spot for it. Uh, maybe. I've still, nah, those are busy. Um, maybe we can do this. Move that up. Move those. Oh, that doesn't. I guess uh, like that. Um. Oh, that still can't go there. Wheel. Okay. Uh, new plan. Not here. If not here, then where? <laughs> um. Really, there's steel and circuits somewhere else. Like over here, maybe? No? No, we're gonna have to fit this in somewhere. Maybe... Here we go, one there. And then... Gosh, this is really getting spaghettied. Uh, this will be the steel gears. And then we'll put the steel beams somewhere. Uh, I don't know where yet. Hold, hold, please. Uh, what are we making? Atmospheric condensers. Steel, steel, green circuits. Okay. Um. So then I can also. Oh, you know what? I could just put a robo port there instead. That will make my life a lot easier. Because then this can be the other steel thing, and then this can be the output of that. And I wanna say, oh, we need the engines. Which will be here, and then the output into a provider chest. Bada bing, bada boom, they stack to 50. You know, and I'm gonna let those go to 150 because sometimes you need huge amounts of atmospheric conditions for large projects. So we're gonna, just gonna let that go. Get some hydration in. And you at home, make sure you're hydrating. It's very important. Very important. Ah, uh, and stretch. Get out of your chair once in a while. Rest your eyes by looking at something other than your computer screen. These are all very good things. Alright, so that's working. Um, why don't I logistics request those? So that we end up with some. And what else? What else are we doing? I think that's all we need for now. I will need those advanced labs. 
Uh, and we're going to have to ship yellow science all the way down there, which is going to be interesting. I'm going to need another, another belt going backwards along the bus. Okay, let's put rocket fuel on this side. Um, <laughs> and we're going to use light oil. And oxygen. And wow, rocks. Holy rocks. Holy rocks, Batman. Are they made in fuel refineries? They are. I'll just handcraft these for now. Oh yeah, and we need iron plates for that. So we'll have Iron plates going behind. Something like these guys. That's easy enough. For this one probably warrants uh flippage. Hey, please just one. Long time first time. <laughs> What, what's the long time listener, first time caller? Welcome, welcome, glad you could be here. All right. Okay, so there's a bunch of, well, not a bunch, some rocket fuel. We will need beacons for sure. And then we need all the atmospheric condensers, which throw up here. Probably just speed module receivers. That's 88. And that's enough for what we've got going on here currently, but I need more of the fuel refineries. And 12 more. Yikes. Might need to go uh, take care of that. Some actual large attacks happening here. I guess the pollution's starting to starting to get a little bit more serious over here. But up here, the pollution is getting less serious. We're absorbing so much. Um, let's 
Let's do this. Keep expanding that. All right. That's two a second. Not very much. Definitely need beacons and prod modules. But for now, we connect up the light, the lightest of oils to, well, let's see. So there's oxygen and then light oil. Connects over to here. And there we go. There's some rocket fuel. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got rocket fuel, we've got everything except the little cards. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I still need to get rid of this container. And we'll grab ourselves some research servers. That's about it. Goodness, we're still running into this issue. Uh, fine. Hate that I have to do this. It's super annoying. Um, can you insert onto... I can. Okay. So then instead, I'm just going to do this. That's a lot cleaner. Yes, inserters. You will be inserting into a loader. Hope you feel bad about yourselves. Let's turn that off for a second. This is this is painful. That should at least fix that problem. And I'm sure we will have plenty of iron throughput for a while. Though, I, we actually might not, because I don't know if we're getting the full 60 yet. We need the beacons and modules for the smelting. Okay. Where we just want to do this over here, potentially. Sure. So research servers. They only get two modules, which is a bummer. How many is that? Nine. 
What's up, infantry man? Welcome, welcome. Okay, and we need to definitely have these ready for beacons. So, I'm thinking... Something like this should work fine. No, just kidding. That doesn't work fine. Um, instead of that, we will... I guess we can just do one more space. No, that doesn't work either. I think I could figure this out. I'm, I'm sure I've done this before, probably trying to do it differently, which is why I'm getting into trouble. Oh, I just do it that way. But if I want the beacon to fit here, yeah, I probably should space these out more. I can just do that. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I question even myself. Alright. Hard to see what's going on here. X, X, yeah. And then that beacon should properly reach both. Okay. Um, I mean, at this point, I could put the outputs in the middle too, right? To finagle this one over. Something like that. It needs to go on the. Close side. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Power. Power. Boom. We don't need that one in the middle. Okay. How many do I want? 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. I don't know. That doesn't really matter. I'm not. The reason I'm saying it doesn't matter is because I'm not going to have anywhere near enough resources for these for quite a while. So, probably anything more than like eight is overbuilding right now. We definitely want prod. So, ASAP. And then we need to craft uh, all the blank tech cards. So blank tech cards are super easy. We've crafted them before. So I'll just copy this little, this little build here. Makes 5.625. Interesting, we can actually fit four of these. Seven point five, and we needed fourteen of these. Let me 
speed modules do for me here? 10.5. Okay. Let's do something. Yeah, as far as why the yellow ones need two blank tech cards instead of one, I couldn't tell you. That might not be normal. Okay, I might just do it this way. Flashing of these is on beat. Almost perfect. It lasted for a while. Um, let's see. I forgot about the iron. I guess we can do iron here. And here. And copper here. Yeah, it's possible that they changed some things. Dave, I don't I don't know. I am not knowing. That's iron, that's iron. made beautiful all right we are about to have yellow science holy crap does that feel good we need to bring the rocket fuel which should definitely be on a single side of the belt um we need the rocket fuel we need the lds and we need the blue circuits Dave, thank you for the 22 months. 22 freaking months. Wow. How time flies. How the flame ties. Okay, so we need... Uh, yeah, that's actually correct. Correct belt-sidedness. Actually, it would be better like this.
No more blank tech cards on this belt, please. Okay. There we go. 47 and a half hours. Boom, 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 boom. Our first utility cards. Alright. Now the problem is we need to research him. We need to actually do something with him. Yellow science hype! Ah, uh, so now we need the advanced labarinos. We can probably put these back for now. Not gonna use those very often. Although purple science won't be too far behind. What does purple science need? Um, I know it needs uranium. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, uranium is the only thing we don't have that we need. Okay, yeah, that's only going to get worse as more and more turrets die. I should go fix that. And now we're running out of everything, of course. Probably should do more power, too. Okay, so these advanced labs can do red and then purple and yellow as well, and they don't do the basic packs. So there's the reason I'm not going to tear down all the old ones is I still have quite a few researches that I'm going to need to do over time that have the basic packs in them. And I'm hopeful but not certain do the basic packs get removed later they do from the quality of life tech because i remember sometimes there were some issues where some of the late game researches would require basic packs again for some reason but it looks like that's been fixed so so i could do all the basic pack researches but the problem is some of those are really expensive so I'm going to want to be able to do those later, um, but not now, because they're too expensive for now. And so basically we're going to need, yeah, exactly, 19,000. <laughs> Harley Charker. <laughs> um, yeah, 20x science multiplier gets numbers. Numbers get embiggened pretty quickly. So we're going to need to set up a new research lab area. This time meant for using with uh, beacons and wow our copper is not doing well <sighs> so we could set it up down here since we already have all the other sciences down here or we could set it up up here and move all these sciences up there Not really sure which way I want to go. For now, I'll put the science in a chest because I have nothing better to do with it. I could also send the sciences via airdrop, um, but that's not very efficient. I could load them into containers. That doesn't really help me, though. I could just use logistics bots once we have... Um, I think they only stacked to 50, so two chests is still not very much. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go fix our defenses real quick. And yes, Dave, that's not a bad idea. We could use a roboport and some repair packs, along with some extra. Oh gosh. The fighters get restless. Um. Throw in some turrets and walls, plus storage chest, plus bots. I don't need these three, but I will take one of those. Okay, where did I leave the old hovercraft? 
that it? That's it. Alright, I definitely need to add module twos to the list. Uh, we need to add... Well, we need to research beacons, but those are purple science, which means uranium mining. Yeah, I think module twos is a pretty big focus. Because more productivity will be a good thing. Now, oh, wait a second. Is copper... Yeah, we're doing this weird one belt, two belt thing. I actually need to just have both belts going back. That's the problem. Why did I do it this way? I have no idea why I did it that way. I'll have to fix that. We'll do the combat stuff first. Oops, that's the wrong direction. And we should also double check that the... Okay, good, yeah. That our copper's held up here and not unloading more. So copper's actually starting to back up, which is neat. Neat to see that that is happening. And another energy weapons damage should help a little bit with defenses. Kill the biters with less lasers. What's the damage now on a laser turret? Yeah, 63 laser damage. That's pretty good. There's some rare metals going up. Once we have 5k tech cards, we can work on this. That's the other thing we really need. That's why we did yellow science, mostly. Um, but we should start on uranium processing. Okay, so what's going on here? How much laser armor do behemoth fighters have behemoth spitters have nothing except a little bit of explosion behemoth fighters have no laser decent physical behemoth snappers are the only ones with laser defense and it's 10 flat 10 plus 20 percent Oh, by the way, how's this doing? Are we... Are we doing okay on the whole... Hydrogen chloride stuff? It looks like we are. <laughs> Excuse me. Wherever there's damage, I feel like a couple extra turrets couldn't hurt anything. And then... Here's the main problem. Let's fix all that, and then we'll throw down a roboport, and a chest, and 50 conbots, and 
repair packs, and laser turrets, and walls. Alright. And that should do the trick. Some of them might die trying to repair the walls or replace the walls. That could be a thing. Speaking of... How are the spitters getting close enough? That's what I want to know. I feel like the turrets should be killing faster than that. Ooh, a thousand tech cards. Bada bing, bada boom. You can get a few more turrets placed here. Start throwing artillery shells at them. Oh, don't worry. We will. We will. We're still a ways away from artillery, I think. Yeah, we need a lot more yellow packs for that. But we will. We will do just that. There's even laser artillery, which is uh, something I want to try out. Eventually. <laughs> It's uh, not going to happen for a while. We need advanced tech. Not enough logistic network storage space. Oh. Okay, I think modules might be next. First we have to fix the copper. <laughs> now what can we make now that we have blue circuits and LDS? Ooh, we can make sniper lasers for ourselves. That'll be nice. Probably lots of other things. Get rid of all those rocks and these rocks and these rocks. Stupid rocks. Okay, so copper, you are not doing what you should be doing. We want two belts of you. And we want you to do the same thing that Iron's doing. And... You're gonna... do the unfortunate like reverse everything that's going to be different Ugh. Ugh. why did I do this why did I suffer sufferize myself That's fine. So in this case, I'm using the top belt. Okay. 
Okay, this is easy enough. Just switch it to here. Um, and that works. Uh, this is, who knows what the heck that was. Again. And then this is unnecessary. Left, left, left. Uh, wouldn't it have been easier to plug it in at the start of the bus rather than reversing it? Well, no. I don't know. I think this is easier than finding a whole new home for a belt. <laughs> This belt is already here, I might as well use it. I made the bus to support two copper belts, but I haven't been uh, treating it like it's two copper belts. Now we are going to have the issue of uh, the lead. The copper produced from lead. It's not going to have a home. This one's a little weird. We're gonna need you to go one tile further than go down and around this to go there. Those are unnecessary. It works. Oof, I don't know what all this is. That's the end of that. Um, problem being that we don't. Oh, there's actually a couple problems here. Oh. I was going to say, I'm like, this doesn't feel like two belts worth of copper. So we'll fix that. And then how do we properly deal with the lead output? <sighs> I mean, it's not very much. I could utilize it in red science as a priority. Let's see, this, what is this? No idea what that belt was, but this belt is the lead copper. And this is, oh wait, there's copper coming from here. This is just old style copper. I'm not gonna worry about that, right? There's basically none left, yeah, okay. So we'll ignore the old copper. That copper's needed for old fashioned um uh oh. This stuff is still dying. Uh it's just a I think these trees are what are they're causing them to attack the walls. Um input priority right. 
So that way we'll use up the lead copper for basic packs. And then I'd also like to use up the lead copper for red packs. And that will almost guarantee enough usage, right? Like, we always need red packs of science. So. But we need it to be on both sides equally. This is taking from one side more than the other. Um, I guess we can always do an active provider chest too with the remainder. chest over here. And we'll just get rid of whatever is left and the logistics bots can carry it around. When I do some other lead processing, we'll, you know, have a better method. What's up, Red Ref? Oh, welcome. Mm, we are shipping big boxes. Or at least... Trying to, what do we got? There's some iron. We got rare metals flowing around. We got yellow science happening. A whole 1,000 of it done, roughly. And it looks like the shortage is uh, low density structure. Looks like blue circuits are starting to back up. Um, it is a passive provider chest. That is because, sadly, we don't have active provider chests yet. Why is LDS backed up? LDS is backed up because it's slow. You're getting 0 0.875 a second. Okay. So beacons are needed and probably a few more assemblers too. So I should put active provide copper from lead. We'll put that on the list so I don't forget about it. be too many that's for sure the output on the yellow science build is broken let us investigate yes missing the underground here on all of them well that explains why we didn't have as many packs as I thought we would There we go. That also explains why the blue science was starting to back up, because I'm like, how are we getting enough blue science here? <laughs> I thought we were only getting like one a second. Or blue science, uh, blue circuits, I mean to say. This is more what I expected. Oh. 
but we got a good 1500 well i guess we can just look what's it called logistic science no production science no tech technical i don't know what it's called utility Utilite at 1.7 thousand. And we need roughly 4,500, 4,600 to research our logistics uh, research that we want. Because we can do two prod modules. Hmm, what next? Well, I feel like that's probably a good spot to end the episode, actually. Because we're at 56 minutes for the YouTube episode. So, for those of you on YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next episode.